Obama. <laughs> he has off the chart EQ. Okay. He is a he's got probably off the chart IQ. It was a, like I watched everything he did. I've read everything he's written. I watch his body language. I have been trying to figure out his type for a long, long time. I'm reasonably good at typing people, non-verbally, verbally, all this stuff. I've read everything he, I could possibly get my hands on. He's written so. I do not think he is a three. I really don't. Well, I, I think we, there's a problem typing him because when people are uh, so highly evolved in the way, I'm not saying he's the one, I'm not saying, you know, he's the, one, but, you know but the guy's done well, a lot of work. Three. He's a very conscious guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And he's done a ton of work on himself. And the more people do all that work, the harder it is to see the type in action, right? I mean, you just, it's really hard. So if you start reading what people <clears throat> say about him, depends on your reading, their, their take on it, you know, or you start seeing them like this. So it's easy to stereotype people. So I just like very wary of typing. I mean, I got Hillary Clinton's type, and I'm pretty positive about Bill Clinton's, but with Obama, this is what I think, and if you ask me if I know for sure, I couldn't say it's for sure. Okay, but I've read everything possible you can read pretty much. I have watched every speech. I pay attention to his body language. You know four or five people who know him really well, and here's what they say. That he's been like he is now all, for people who've known him 25 years, he's not any different. And they say that in person he's the same as he is in public. So what you see is who he is. This is, creates a dilemma for us because we're used to public figures being different in person mm -hmm. or somehow having changed once mm -hmm. they became, but apparently not so with him. Okay. So it makes it more confusing mm -hmm. to deal with somebody who's as real as he is. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. quite ironic, but that is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's, yes. I think, the problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a problem. So anyway, so this is what I originally thought, and I kind of was narrowing it down. I thought he's probably, based on a lot of characteristics, a nine, a two, a three, or a five. Okay? And I thought if he's a five, he's a very integrated five. You know? Because if you ever, I mean, maybe, I don't know if anybody else watches him, but if you watch him, he's totally in his body. He, if he's a three, he's a highly integrated three because the guy's not fake at all, right? And there's a kind of facade. But then I started thinking three. If who he is in person and in public, is this, and he hasn't changed, and he doesn't seem to change in any context he's in, right? That chameleon quality of the three, I just, nobody, I've never seen any place where he's done that, and that goes with three. There's this shape shifting, right? Now there are threes who have an image of no image. That gets into the subtypes. Mm -hmm. But still, there's still a way in which there's an artifice to them. And I couldn't see that in him really. So then I'm down to, but I, it was clear to me he was a social subtype. I don't know if you know about subtypes, but mm -hmm. whatever type <coughs> is, you know. And then I eliminated five for this odd reason, which isn't that odd. But I started watching him. I mean, after you watch somebody so often, there's only you know so much you can watch, and then you have to watch something else, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was like watching him, and I remember that I'm one of these people that pays attention to pattern. You know, I see it twice, I see it three times, I see it by the eighth time. I go, this is definitely a pattern. Every time he is with a crowd, he literally takes his whole body, and he actually takes his whole body, and it goes into the crowd. Have you noticed that he lets people touch him everywhere? Literally, his whole lanky, tall body. And I'm like, I have never seen a five throw their body into a crowd <laughs> like that. I mean, you know, fives can be warm. They can end up being very friendly. But their whole body is not going to, that's an absolute act of trust to put your lanky body into a crowd and let everybody touch you. It's like, I'm not five and I can't even think about that idea. So I thought he's probably just a very smart guy and we tend to stereotype fives as like with the intellect. But Probably not a five, so then I was like, well, is he a social two, or is he a social subtype nine? And then I was like really debating this for a long time. And I thought, you know, I think, he's, I think he is a social subtype nine, with a lot of link to three. 
And if you read, um, which I don't, I didn't bring the subtype stuff with me, but uh, uh, the B Chestnut, who you know, who's a really great undergrad teacher, and she's done she's studying Claudia Naranjo's work on subtypes and taking it to another step. And I brought her in, and I've been studying subtypes too, but B knows it better than I do. But anyway, I brought her into uh, Genentech um, in in South City, and she did a session on subtypes, and we taped it. And so, and then I have the copyright, so it's a tape you can get on subtypes if you want. And then we've got some subtype material. And Obama fits the description of the subtype nine, which is essentially they throw their own needs into the air to sacrifice this for the sake of the group, which comes from a sense of feeling like they never quite fit in. They don't even let themselves show or feel the stress of doing so. And I thought, that is really Obama. The social two is called ambition, and the social subtype two is they, um, they try to move large systems to try to elevate themselves to feel a little more like they, are, have, they matter or they're important. But they still have, um, they're not quite, they'll tend to be in leadership roles more than the other two subtypes of two, but it's still not a great comfort zone. And it's like, he just seems to be this sort of social good, seems a little less driven by ambition, which would be more the two, the unconscious ambition. Mm -hmm. I'm a social too, so and I don't mean it in a bad way, or maybe I do, I don't know, but it's not meant like that. You know? <laughs> but it's the, the nine, that sort of there's a sacrifice of self, and emerging with something bigger than self as a way to feel part of something whole that one feels separate from. That seemed to me to be more at his essence. So I have come down with, I'm definitely sure he's not a three. I really don't think he's a five. I think he's a social nine, but if he's not a social nine, I think he's a social subtype two. Married to a one. <laughs> Self-preserving one. What?